Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can change the background of your notification center in OS X Mountain Lion. So, OS X Mountain Lion obviously brought the new notification center to Mac, just like you found on iOS, and with it, the same old, kind of ugly linen background. But now, unlike iOS, where you'd have to jailbreak to change your notification center background, you can do it very easily in Mountain Lion, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So you only need a couple things, and that would be an image and, uh, you know, opening up a finder window. So that's the first thing you're going to do, open up a finder window, and you're going to want to go to Macintosh HD, System Library Core Services, if I can find it. And then from there, there should be an application in Core Services called Notification Center right here. You can right-click on it, hit Show Package Contents, open up Contents, and Resources. So resources shows you all the different files associated with Notification Center. So technically you could change a lot of things about Notification Center if you really wanted to skin the look of it. Uh, but what we're going to do today is just skin just the background of it, which is this file right here called linen.tiff. So this is a file that is just exactly what you see in Notification Center. That's the background. And if you open it up, you'll see that there is two versions of it within the file. There's a high-res version of it, which if you look is 512 by 512, and that's for retina displays. And there's also a lower resolution version of it, which if you look is 256 by 256, and that's for normal resolution displays. So what you'll want to do is find a background image that's preferably repeating, and or you know a plain color would work well too. Uh, so find an image like that that you want to use as your background. If you want it to look the best in Notification Center at its default size and everything, you'll want it to either be in 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 depending on what kind of display you have, retina or non-retina. Now you don't need to do this, the image I'm choosing for this demo is 400 by 400, uh, but it's going to look the best if you choose one of those sizes. And the reason why it's best to choose a repeating background is because by default Notification Center tiles the background and if you have something that doesn't repeat or it isn't a solid color, if you don't really make sure you know how the layout's going to look, it could look kind of messed up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is back up this linen.tiff to maybe your desktop or something so that it's safe and sound right there in case you ever want to switch it back. Next thing you want to do is open up the image you found. And in this case, I'm using this really, really ugly houndstooth image. It looks really terrible, which is why I'm going to show it to you in Notification Center. And you'll want to go into preview here and go to file export because you're going to have to export this as a TIFF file and you'll want to name it linen and save that to your desktop. So once you have your linen.tiff file saved to your desktop, making sure you didn't overwrite the other one, what you want to do is drag that right into the resources folder. It'll ask you to authenticate it and then you can select replace. Once again, make sure you have it all backed up, obviously. And enter your password, hit OK, and you're all done. So you can close this window, and then what you're going to have to do is go into Activity Monitor. So I'm going to go into Applications, and then Utilities, and then Activity Monitor. And in here, you'll find uh, Notification Center. So you just want to search for it, and here it is. And from here, you can just quit the process, hit Quit and nothing will happen really but when you go over to notification center you can see that now it is houndstooth background now by default notification center overlays this kind of uh, black transparent gradient to your image and i think it looks kind of nice uh, but you might not like it so it's kind of something to be aware of before you choose like a really dark colored background because you have to be aware that whatever background you put is going to appear darker than it does by default in the image. That's just something to be aware of. Now when you're ready to change it back to the original, it's as simple as just dragging back in the original linen.tiff into the resources folder and authenticating it, hitting enter, and then going back into activity monitor and repeating the process of killing notification center and your notification center should be all back to normal and you can see it looks just fine. So there you go, there's how you can change the background of Notification Center very easily in OS X Mountain Lion. As always, if there's anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, whether it's about Mountain Lion or iOS, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.